in Marrakesh, located in the northern district of the Kasbah, lies in the Medina, the site of the royal mausoleum of the Sadian dynasty. The site was built by Sultan Ahmed El Mansur al Sadi in the 16th century. The first set of buildings of the site is located to the left as you enter the Sadian tombs. It houses three rooms, the Miharab room, the 12 columns room, and the three niches room. The second set of buildings houses the Lala Misauda dome. There are also women. Les femmes aussi. Les femmes et les enfants. Les enfants, oui, les femmes. Mais cette salle, elle est toutes femmes. Cette salle. Tous sont des femmes. C'est la salle des femmes. La Lama Misauda, la mère de Mansour, plus toutes les femmes. Tout à fait. Les petits dessins là, noirs, comme on voit là, dans les coins. Et ça, c'est de l'époque époque. Ils ont resté bien conservés. Parce que comme sont... Mais c'est un dessin, non C'est un dessin. Heureusement qu'il n'y a pas d'humidité ici. Parce que sinon, on sera tout perdu. The tombs, a feature of Sadian art and architecture, is a testament to the pomp and power of this Moroccan dynasty. The site of the Sadian tombs needed extensive restorative work. In 2013, the Dr. Leila Mezian's foundation signed an agreement with the Moroccan Ministry of Culture. The aim of the agreement was to restore the Sadian tombs to all its splendor and to preserve the memory of the place as part of the heritage of Moroccan history. Restoration work began outside the site. Inside the site, Restorers focused on removing the dust and on cleaning the sculpted stucco work. Dust was first removed from the cedar wood friezes, then the range of hues were restored. The paint on the stucco work was first cleaned and then strengthened before being secured and repainted. The woodwork of the large dome in the 12 columns room first had to be painted. Newly created replacement wooden pieces were later set in place. Using a stencil, the craftsman drew the pieces of the Zelige mosaic that needed recreating. This had to be done to measure and as close in color as possible to the original. When ready, the replacement piece was immediately set in place using lime-based mortar. A crucial part of the restoration work was ensuring each missing piece of the Zelige mosaic were restored to their original position. For the complete panel to look intact, each replacement piece had to be as close as possible in color and shape as its original. Outside the Lala Misauda room, the dust was removed from the carved set of wood awnings and stucco friezes. Any missing or damaged pieces were replaced unprotected. The wooden mashrabiya were cleaned and restored in a similar manner. It took two years to complete the restoration work. The surface of the central dome of the 12 columns room features several shapes. There is a square representing the earth and at its highest point there is a circle representing the sky, symbols of the passage from life on earth to life in heaven. The tombs in the Miharab Hall are adorned with myriad of Zalij mosaics of different colors and patterns. The 12 Columns Room has a marble wall plate featuring several inscriptions and engraved arabesques. 
The walls feature elaborately designed mosaics in different geometrical shapes. The Three Niches room has a wall with three recesses, featuring magnificent sculpted painted stucco works. The Lala Mesauda room is a large room covered by a cedar wood dome. It has two lodges with two porticos, each supported by two white marble columns under a sumptuous ceiling. The body of Sultan Ahmed El Mansur Asadi's mother, Lala Mesauda, lies in the Kuba. After two years of work, the Sardian Tombs site restoration project is finally complete. And this magical place, the jewel of Moroccan architecture, has been restored to its past glory. <laughs>